Ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing today? So, uh, guys, this is one of the giant power supplies. I've got two of them. So, uh, this guy here, I took apart the other one, and, uh, I will be, uh, making a video of this, because there were some really neat boards inside of it. Look at this guy on top. That's a board... All it's got is uh, copper lines running up and down. Fiberglass board. There was a uh, sheet of Teflon, a really thin piece of Teflon plastic over top of it. And uh, I don't know, I'm guessing that's where they must have put their samples. But uh, let's see, you can't see it. Right up under this thing here. I just want to show you because I was so impressed with it. This gold finger. I mean, that thing's beautiful. But, right now we're talking about power supply. I got so excited when I seen this plug. I'm like, oh, let it be gold. But it's silver. But that's okay. We like silver too. At least I'm guessing it's silver. It might be nickel. So, from what I can tell on this guy, the only gold I got is right here. The power supply uh, card or whatever. I mean, there's bits and pieces, places and things that may have gold in it. Got some big fans in here. That's a fan right there. Um... I, I'm not a power guy, uh, you know, it's kind of funny, I take electronics apart all the time, but I don't really know the, I mean, I know basics uh, of like vehicle, and I can wire a house, but, you know, don't ask me what ohms and volts and all the different things are, you know. When they had me uh, wiring the houses, he basically just said, uh, you put this many circuits inside a box and don't go more than that. Um, but this thing's pretty neat. It really is. I'm not going to make a video of me uh, tearing this guy apart. <clears throat> but at the end of this video, I'll uh, try and gather up all the pieces to show you what goodies I got out of it. So, that's it for now. Alright, everybody. So, we got done. The uh, sun's going down. But, I'd have been done a while back. But, I uh, had to run my wife a couple counties over. Go see a friend of hers. So, uh, oh man. I forgot that one guy there. I'm going to take him off. But, other than that, this is our steel pile along with these two pieces now this black piece that was running around it right here that's aluminum and the aluminum pile is right here and if i had to guess i'd put the aluminum at uh there's probably i'd say at least 12 10 12 pounds there and a uh, bunch of capacitors, bunch of transformers. So I, I don't know exactly how powerful this guy was, but uh, actually we could find out pretty quick. Uh, uh, maybe we can't. Uh, anyway, it had some juice in it, let's say. So transformer scrap. Now over here, got a couple switches or uh, relays, and I'll tear in there and grab the uh, silver contacts. There's your contacts right there. Those two little round buttons that are touching each other. Okay, 
And then these guys, like I said, I'll pull that other one off. I don't know what they're called, but I know if you get a whole bunch of them together, you can sell them for like 20 bucks on eBay. Not a big deal, but you know. Uh, switch. Little thing. These guys right here, you find them in washer, dryers, microwaves. There's a little button in there. Silver contact. That's the only gold fingers in the entire machine. But they are nice and thick. You run your finger over, you can feel them pretty good. Not much else to say about the board. Uh, crappy board. And then uh, these are like all from little tiny power supplies. Basically, what this was was a giant unit with like four, or no, actually like six power supplies in it. And uh, these are actually pretty decent boards for power supply. These two top hats here, they've got gold in them. Um, this one has gold in it. Uh, da -da, gold in there. Okay, and these, these two are the best. There's gold in each one of these top hats. Through there. Got IC chip on each one. And that's it for those. And a couple decent boards. Got the gold top hats. That white uh, protector there. You pull that away and you've got... Uh, I pulled the... Uh, that one had three legs on it. I pulled those out. Um, and then I dropped the top hat, wouldn't you know it? And then... Got this board. I don't know what these big, huge guys are. I'm going to take those apart. I've never seen it, but they're heavy. I mean, it feels like a piece of solid steel on there. But these... Uh, those are gold test posts. And if you go back, I don't know, the first six months of me doing videos, there's one in there about an uh, uh, aircraft event recorder or something like that. And I was saying that I didn't know what these were. They were labeled uh, TP. And it turns out that TP stood for test post. Uh, so yeah, uh, not too bad, and I'd say all in all, I've got, um, going through this guy, probably hour and a half, maybe two hours, so I'm going to go ahead and tear down the other one, like I said, this machine here, uh, I found some awesome boards in it, and I will probably make a video of me tearing it down. And then this little guy over here, I probably won't make a video tearing him down, but I will show you the boards that come out of it. I think they'll be pretty neat. So, uh, that's it for now, guys. Um, I gotta get busy. I want to get this other unit tore down before the uh, sun goes down. It's Sunday night, and um, I've got a hellaciously busy Monday. So check this out. Hot tub. And a shelf. whole bunch of junk in here. Just everything. Mirrors, doors, uh ping pong table piano back there underneath the piano is two dressers that were torn apart I went and picked those up today um, I got a little keyboard here I got that TV there that's got to go uh, headboards over there I've also got to put together a scrap run 
I've got uh, one, two fridge, or yeah, two refrigerators and a freezer. The washer and dryer work. I've got to post those to Facebook. The helmets. I'm uh, going to get those cleaned up. Post those on Facebook. And um, then uh, these two TVs here. They're going to the dump tomorrow too. So I've got two runs to the dump. And then you guessed it. Filled right back up with scrap again. Picked this guy up yesterday. It's a uh, one of them pellet smokers. But I haven't had a chance to take a look at it. The girls, my wife and daughter, seemed pretty interested in it. But I don't know. They just uh, doesn't impress me much. I'm not big on barbecue. If it's there, I'll eat it. But I'm not going to chase it down or nothing. But yeah, I got a load of scrap, and believe it or not, I think uh, this may be the last load. You know, I've been doing a lot of sorting and pulling metal out, but with the prices the way they are right now, I think what I'm going to do is uh, just stop scrapping for the moment. Uh, at least till we're back up over, I don't know, 120 a ton 140 a ton something like that Because I'm losing so much money Every day, you know get all first, you know, I'm sorting it throughout the day Bringing it home I, then I have to haul it back here and then when it's scrap day Got to haul it all up to the truck and then take it to the scrap yard and I mean I went up there with I think it was 21 2200 pounds for 64 dollars um yeah i think i'd rather put uh, my time towards the electronics or the uh, junk removal so that's where i'm at today uh, i hope you guys had a wonderful weekend we had a very hot weekend here friday was 94 yesterday was 95 today it was only 90 and uh like it was only like 47% humidity, and we had a cool breeze, so it really wasn't that bad of a day. Um, like I said, I had to, my wife, we took her uh, friend up uh, patio set, and I picked those dressers up for her. And, um, well, that's it, guys. Like I said, I'm going to get busy here. I, uh, this wire also came out of the... The power supply you know i forgot to bring that up the uh it's funny this guy had way more wire in it than the power supply take you around here give you a preview you can kind of see there's all kinds of wire oh and a very short tip um I don't really see any here right off the bat. Let's say you're working on electronic. Okay, you know what a wire feels like. Well, then you grab it, and instead of feeling rubbery, it feels like satiny smooth. Um, that's going to be Teflon wire. All right. Normally, they only use... No, I'm not going to say normally only. But um, a lot of times on uh, gold, uh, gold plated items or silver plated items, they'll use Teflon coated wire. Oh, yeah, there's a few pieces, those were uh, attached to the uh, this guy here. Now, what's strange is the other unit that's like this. Uh, oh. That's right, it was in the other bucket. And... Uh, da, 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 there. I can show you with this one. So, these are copper posts. And, um... You know, normally... Focus! Okay. Normally, when you have gold on a board 
they attach it to the wire with gold. But they didn't with these. There, that does look like a little maybe plating on the end of that one. The others were all copper though. Straight copper all the way up and down. Uh, Alright. Sorry guys, I'm probably getting boring. Um, I'm going to get off here. I will talk to you guys next week. Uh, I'm still editing the other videos, so I'll get back to you. Mike's out. Alright, yes, yeah, so I'm going to tag this on the other. <coughs> because I didn't get a chance to show you the beautiful... Let me these down here real quick. The beautiful freaking pens that are in these guys. Now, I want to tell you something about old electronics. And it seems to be with a lot of the newer ones. Blue, green, and black. You find blue, green, and black, you're on your way to a, uh, a beautiful looking uh, pen. But if I, this guy here, <laughs> these green ones can be tricky though. Some of them are like so easy to get the pins out of. I mean, just absolutely done real quick. And some of them, you're going to spend 10 minutes a pin. But, uh, all right, that, that's all I wanted to show you. And this heat sink, the only heat sink in this entire thing, and it happened to be, it's all copper. I thought it was aluminum, picked it up. I'm like, yeah, it's a little too heavy to be aluminum. And then these two pieces were surrounding those and they're brass. But, okay, that's the end, I promise this time. Bye, guys.